Whoever runs the Lil J Instagram page sending me weird cryptic messages and shit. Maybe Lil J is not happy about the fact that we keep talking about his sexuality on the podcast. Listen, nobody in the entirety of the history of the Chicago rap scene, and I'm not including myself in that. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, maybe to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, I've been trying to warn y'all about Adam22 for the longest and yet, I see more and more people entertaining his platform despite the backlash that Adam have gotten from not only his guests, but from the very people that have actually worked for No Jumper, such as AD and Lush1. Now. It's not 100% about race, right? But it's more about the intention with No Jumper as I've watched them literally transition from interviewing celebrities and up and coming artists to gang members or street dudes who got a name in the street being interviewed about the past or current drama that they have going on. As of lately, his target has been the Chicago drill scene and we understand that controversy sells and that's what gets the views and get people talking. However, Adam has found himself going a little too far when referencing certain guys that we know in real life, he most definitely wouldn't have that same energy if they were face to face or just in some street stuff. And I get it, it's usually all for entertainment, but to each his own. So today I want to get into what Adam 22 had to say in regards to King Lil J. He's claiming that either King Lil J or someone who's affiliated with him and his team is getting in contact with him, trying to intimidate him and refrain him from talking about the zesty allegations that were brought upon King Lil J and his jailhouse situation. Now let's get into what Adam had to say. Check this out. Whoever runs the Lil J Instagram page sending me weird cryptic messages. Maybe Lil J is not happy about the fact that we keep talking about his sexuality on the podcast. Listen, nobody in the entirety of the history of the Chicago rap scene, and I'm not including myself in that, but nobody has ever been as open-minded to the homosexual agenda as myself. Now, that being said, we've seen some zesty behavior from you, my friend, King Lil J, and it's not like I'm having a conversation saying, oh, he should never be allowed to go back where he's from, or oh, he's not really like that because we've seen him doing some zesty shit on camera. Not at all. We're just talking about the facts of the situation, which is that it's pretty interesting and unlikely to have a drill rapper who's being accused of, and we have video evidence of him getting it in with punks, DJU interviewing the trans woman that you apparently were dating for an extended period of time. I mean, this is all very pertinent information. So, I mean, yeah, Lil J, we could sit down, we could do an interview, we could talk about it. But what you're not going to do is act tough or try to intimidate me or whatever by acting like I'm not allowed to have a conversation about you. Because guess what? I'm an American and you're an American. And if there's information about you out there on the Internet, we can have conversations about it. Now, if you're really invested in defending yourself against these accusations, we'll even set up a lie detector test. So if you want to argue that you've never been with a man or never done stuff with a trans woman, we can have that conversation, but I'm just not going to be like, you know, falling in line and lying and acting like I believe you when I don't believe you. But also I don't give a f to me. I know all kinds of dudes that I can introduce you to and shit. I could totally be a big help to you in terms of what you got going on in your sex life. So if you want me to connect you to the Jason Lees of the world, I'm sure they'd be down to have a conversation with you too. And maybe a romp in the sheet. Now, one thing I could say about what he had to say was he does have a point in one regard. When it comes to certain topics and what a blog or YouTube or whoever chose to speak about, you don't have no control over that. A lot of times artists or their labels or their partners or whoever they affiliated with, they like to hit up bloggers and try to intimidate them and tell us what we can or cannot speak on and it don't work like that. 
if it's a hot topic and everyone's talking about it, then it is what it is. Now, if you have some type of rapport or relationship with the platform and you feel a way that they're speaking on certain things because y'all probably got a relationship or you thought you was cool with whoever, then that's up to you and the platform. But still, it's really up to their discretion on whether they're going to entertain it or not. Usually, if y'all cool, the platform will speak on it, but they won't drag you through the mud like most bloggers would do. They'll sit there and try to, you know, put like both sides out there and help you out or whatever the case may be, but they'll still talk about it. So I understand him on that, right? Because it can become annoying with people always hitting you up, telling you what they think you should talk about or what you shouldn't talk about. And they do try to get crazy, but it is what it is. However, we do know that Adam 22 used that as an opportunity to get online and speak about it because of course it's going to get views of course people are going to start talking about it of course it's going to cause some type of controversy he didn't have to get online and tell everyone that he's being hit up and told to stop talking about king lil j especially if it came from his team and not him personally now if it came from king lil j personally then that's something to talk about because it's like i bet it came from him you know it's it, it's going to get headlines we know that but if it came from his team or whatever, that's really not something worthy of speaking on. But like I stated earlier, we do know that any publicity is considered good publicity. That's how the game goes, whether it's negative or positive. Now, here's the part that I do have a problem with. In the midst of his message, you know, saying that they're trying to intimidate him to not talk about King Lil J, you could clearly tell that Adam is trying to manipulate his way into getting an interview or something out of King Lil J because he goes from saying that he doesn't have a problem with Lil J's sexual preference, if he is that way, to saying that they could take a lie to take the test to prove that he's telling the truth. Then he goes into saying that he got some Jason Lees of the world for him and they could romp in between the sheets. The whole nine yards. <laughs> you know, that's where it goes downhill. Hearing him put his two cents in and, you know, putting his input on the situation and talking how he's talking, knowing that if something goes down, he'll be the first to call the police. And I think that's the part that gets me the most. <laughs> you know, y'all know the people who talk all tough and act crazy and the minute something goes down, they call the cops. That's the vibe that Adam gives me. And we've seen things go down during his podcast that lets us know he'll definitely run or call police if something goes down. You got no wins with those kind of people because those are the people that will antagonize you and try to get a reaction out of you. And the minute they do get a reaction out of you, now they crying for help. I think that's why I see him talk like that is crazy to me. And it really don't even matter who it is, whether it's Adam, whether it's anybody. It's always irritating seeing guys who you know for sure gonna tuck their tail if something goes down, get on social media and talk out of pocket, right? But it is what it is, man. Oh, that's pretty much it. That's what he had to say for King Lil J. Y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm gonna keep on dropping. And I'm out.